In this video, we're going to be looking at the menu control and the menu items objects. Uh, menu control is very flexible because it has it has an inbuilt system uh, for adding the menu to our website without a site map path. So there is a there's an inbuilt uh, wizard that we can use to actually add menus to our website without using the site map file that we created in the previous video. It also uh, it also has the ability to bind to an XML file and to a database. Uh, in this video we'll be looking at the built-in the built-in wizard that can be used to add navigation to our website without a sitemap, an XML file or a database. So let's go to um, back to our website and add a menu control. So we're going to add a menu control to our website so you can just drag and drop into the page and um, uh, the menu as you see now once I had it there's a little there's a little so let me select the menu you can see this little uh, greater than sign this little icon here so if you just click on it it's gonna give you the menu task all the tasks for the particular control so you can auto format it so which we're going to be looking at in a minute we can make it classic colorful professional it's just simple so let's let's select a, a color so something that matches our website let's select uh, the colorful one so let's apply it okay so now what we want to do is we want to edit the menu items so we want to add items to the menu itself so it's going to give you this uh, the menu item uh, editor so the first one you want to create is to add a root item so we want to add a root item and we're going to name it so it gives you the navigate URL this is what you want to set so we want this one to go to the home page we click on OK then the text we can just say home page home page and um, we we that's the one that's been added if you want to add another root item you click on it so we're going to cover this one the navigator you already want it to navigate to the staff the ASPX page and we want to call it as staff page okay so under the staff now you can use this second um, a button to add a child item so we want to add a child item to staff so this one we want it to navigate to uh, staff sub page one dot aspx I want to call it staff sub page and uh, we want to we can also click on staff again and add a child item and um, we want this to navigate to staff sub page 2 dot aspx you get the idea so you can continue doing this uh, without uh, using a site map file staff sub page 2 so then uh, we can add a ch another child item and uh, we want to go to staff search page 3 click on ok we name it staff sub page three. So now we can add another root item. So we want to call this uh, navigate to students student .aspx. So as you can see, we are not actually uh, student page. Okay. So under the student, we want to add a child item. I want it to navigate to student sub page one and that's the same thing we call it student sub page one you get the idea so let me just add the last one we can so if I click on the about page navigate your about okay so you get the idea so i just have to name this one to be about us okay so if i click on okay now as you see our uh, menu has been populated 
and uh, if we take a look at our website now I can select on any of the pages and say view in browser ask me if I want to save yes I want to save and uh, we should be able to see that uh, we have the breadcrumb and we also have a menu and as you can see once we over once we place our mouse at the top of it we get all the sub pages uh, which actually leads to the page that we want so except this one which we didn't create any child item for so if I click on the staff page 2 now the menu item is actually present on all the pages and the menu items as well the menu and the menu items can also be formatted with a CSS style sheet so if you know CSS you can make it as beautiful as you want to match the page and to give it any colorful uh, background as you as your heart desires so this is how you use the the menu control with the menu items if you go to the let's go to the source view of the uh, so you can also add this by hand if you know how to do it so this are the uh, remember when we select the colorful uh, formatting this is what it has added for so just ignore that for now so let's look at the item so this is ASP menu control remember this is how you define every control of ASP ASP color menu this is a menu control and it has the menu item so it has the menu items the first one is the uh, home then it has many item many many item uh, that is um, in hierarchy to display exactly this is a menu item not inside another menu item so instead of using uh, a sitemap you can also use this built-in wizard for creating menu to your page uh, by using the menu control so I hope you find this video useful and I'll uh, in the next video we'll be going to we're going to be talking about how you can use site uh, map that we created with menu control as well thank you